thrilled uh, with the outcome of the game, obviously, but uh, even more importantly, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, I told our team in, in life you face a lot of uh, adversity, and, uh, most of us do, and uh, if you live long enough, I, I, I'm sure you will. And uh, we, we've had more than our share of some uh, things that have hit us uh, toward the end of the year, uh, not just injuries, but loss of loved ones and, uh, and uh, uh, children and uh, just difficult things. And, uh, you know, those are the times that uh, the love of a team or a group uh, is really tested. And uh, I couldn't be more proud uh, of our young men that, uh, that went out and battled against a very good football team today in Georgia Tech and give them credit. And, uh, they continue to battle to the end, and um, and also like to say thanks to um, the Music City Bowl and uh, their committee and the people that run this place are absolutely first class, and uh, it, it was a joy to, to be around in every single thing that had anything to do with it, and uh, we were we we're very proud that we got to represent uh, our great university and uh, and our conference in this game today, and again thrilled with uh, the way our kids found a way to win. Other than one thing. Play, you got to be pretty pleased with your Couldn't be more pleased. We knew that, I uh, said all week long to anyone that would listen, that there would be an adjustment period of the speed to which they uh, operate uh, their triple option stuff. It's uh, as many days as we had to work on it, there's still no way you can ask your scout team to to do it at uh, the pace that they do it at. And I thought you saw some of that early, particularly with their wide run game, the, the, the toss sweep uh, play that they had. And, our kids made great adjustments. Uh, you know that that long pass play, you know, actually two pass plays. Uh, our eyes were bad on the on the first one and the, that touchdown. You know I couldn't tell if we were in coverage or not. I know we had our safety fall down. Um, whether or not he was in position to to make the play, I really can't say until I watch the film. But I know that he either got his feet tangled up or or something that fell down, and that kind of resulted in that. But. You know, they're, they're a quality football team again, but it could be more proud of Dave Womack and his staff and the job uh, they did in scheming and, and getting us a plan. We had some outstanding efforts from Isaac Gross and D.T. Shockford, um, certain others too. And I hate to point out some, but I know those two jumped off the page at me in the way they played. Hugh, was there anything schematically on defense that y'all did differently, or was it just about execution? Oh, certainly. No, this is a whole different uh, – we really, we probably didn't call. I think on third down, I heard them call probably, uh, you know, five, six, seven handful of times our our stuff. <coughs> First and second down, I wouldn't. It's all new. This is not something that you carry. It's just your base defense against. If you have time to prepare, if you have two and a half days, that's why it's so difficult to play them. Probably in a short amount of time, you, you're going to be forced to to play some of your base stuff. We were able to get some different stuff in. Coach, talk about adversity a little quicker today. The tempo, the tempo seemed a little quicker with the offense today. Well, I tell you, uh, we've had these officials a couple of times, and uh, I love the way they put it down. They did a great job of that, and then and our kids did a good job of getting set and, uh, and and getting the ball snapped. And you know, they if we can win first down, our, our tempo is a, a very good, uh, advantageous friend of ours. We didn't always win first down. They started bringing, particularly when we were in 11 personnel, they would bring an extra guy in the box and, and bring some pressure that was causing us to, to not win first down enough to stay in tempo. And, you know, we, we to, looking back, that there's a couple of things we should have done differently that I didn't think of fast enough. But the tempo was good to us. Coach, so you came in here with a chip on your shoulder. You had something to prove. You're um, smiling right now. But you guys did win. Uh, just talk about your performance tonight. I just think, um, you know, going into this game, I knew, uh, you know, I, I needed to have a good one. But at the same time, you know, I thought all day. Um, sometimes I try to make too many plays, I think. And, you know, all day I was thinking, don't try to make too many plays, just make the plays that are there. And I think, you know, that's what I did today. And, um, you know, getting the ball to those receivers, they can they can run after the catch and, and uh, you know, make the stats look pretty good. Are you going to carry this into yeah, I'm just really excited for the off season to, to you know actually have an off season to, to get better. Last year, I just had to try to get to the point that you know I was at after the, the shoulder surgery. So I'm just really excited for it to get with Coach Jackson and his staff and 
Um, you know, I'm going to work really hard this, this offseason. Well, but what did you see in the run game? It looked like a lot of time the middle was just there for you. It was just opened up. Yeah, I think, you know, they definitely gave gave me some uh, some pulls out there. And, um, you know, I think this is one of the, the old line's best job that, as far as getting set for tempo and, and rolling. And um, I thought it was their best game of the year probably. And, um, you know, I was able to hit a few, um, you know, nine, ten-yard runs. And I think that definitely opens us up for, for everything else in our offense. You talked about earlier in the week how excited you were playing in the stadium when you got the game, seeing the Titans playing so close to home. You had this kind of game, you the MVP of this game in this situation. What does that mean to you? I mean, it's huge. Um, you know, first, it, it, you know, I, I wanted to get a win first. Um, I knew that if I had a good game, we, we, we'd probably win the game. So, um, like I said, I, did, I just try not to press out there. Um, you know, I knew that, you know, the, the plays will, will come if I just make, make the ones that are there. Coach, when you lose the quarterback of your defense, a guy like Pruitt, uh, that's got to be tough, especially when you're going up against an option. Well, I certainly hope he's okay. I haven't uh, talked to the doctor since uh, they, they felt like he was going to be fine. I'm giving a thumbs up from the back that everything's okay. So um, the good thing is uh, we were without him in preparation until we got to the bowl site. So uh, if there's a blessing – out of his injury back at home, it was uh, that we were able to get a lot of reps for other guys, and we moved Mike Hill to the safety that uh, gave us some depth there and, and got a lot of other guys reps. So um, it's always difficult to lose a good player like Cody in, in the middle of a game, but we did uh, have a lot of quality reps with the other guys because of his injury back home. Coach, two straight ball games for you in the program. Can you just talk about what this means, how this helps you guys in the offseason and moving forward? Uh, there's no question. It's uh, you know asked that this week. I, I was careful to say that one game doesn't uh, really define where a program's at, particularly in the early stages. I still believe that, but I also said there's no question that winning a bowl game is very advantageous to you head heading into recruiting and the off season for the confidence of these young men like Bo and those guys that now we turn over to our strength staff. Uh, um, you know, Ole Miss I think is tied in the nation for the. Uh, for the longest uh, bowl win streak uh, right now, and uh, you know I, I didn't want to screw that up today. You know, so uh, I'm glad uh, you know to win two bowl games in our first two years with what we inherited. I, I think says that we're heading in the right direction for sure, and, and uh, so it, it is a very positive step. No, well, what is that? What's the first offensive series like when? You're able to get in that kind of flow and snap it quickly and just go down the field. Yeah, I mean, if I just feel so much more comfortable with that first series, we can go out and, um, you know, have a good first series and have positive plays and not too many negative plays. Um, he doesn't like negative plays very much. And, and I, mean, I definitely hear it when, when we have one. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I get in a rhythm if we have a good offensive drive like that. And, um, you know, hope, I, I just try to sustain that throughout the, the rest of the park. Are those scripted, Coach, or is that – you know, uh, I, I have uh, I have five things that I want to see early, um, typically going into every game. Uh, I can't say that I always stick exactly to it because I'm never, sometimes you're not quite sure how people are going to play us. We're a little different. Um, but, yeah, I have uh, always the morning of the, of the game, I'll go through my call sheet and I'll pick. <coughs> I want to see these things really early and, and see what happens. Well, can you talk about the job the old line did for you today to be able to put up numbers like that? Yeah, like I said, I, th I thought it was their best day as far as uh, getting, getting set, get the tempo going and, and rolling. And, um, you know, I felt really comfortable back there, so uh, probably as comfortable as I've been all season. So, yeah, like I said, we have a, a lot of senior guys up there, and, you know, they, they all did a great job, and I'm, I'm glad that they get to, to leave, you know, on a good note. What were your thoughts on those? Well, let me say something about the old line too, and then I'll get to Bo's game. But uh, I don't know if people, you know, realize, you know, not having Aaron Morris, Larry Tunstall, Austin Golson, those those guys. I mean, we were down to, uh, you know, to to very few guys that uh, played uh, quality snaps, and uh, we're not real good when we can't run the football some. But I just had a feeling those kids are, are with, with the exception of Justin. You know, we had a bunch of seniors that hadn't played a lot of snaps, except with the exception of. Uh, Probably Evan and uh, and Pierce, you know, and E-Man. How about him? You know, I mean, a team captain that uh, lost his position to a freshman. That's there's not many kids that can uh, do that and still be the captain of your football team. And today he played every snap, 
and uh, just uh, he's gonna he's not his future is not football, but he's got his degree, and he's gonna be a, somebody ought to hire him. And if you're looking for a, a quality individual to hire, uh, that that's Emmanuel McCray, and um, so. I mean, we, we, I'm lucky we didn't have many get injured up there today because, uh, you know, it would have been interesting. But I'm just so, so proud of those guys. And I had a feeling, and even like Jared Duke this morning, we're 30 minutes before we get on the bus, gets a phone call and loses his grandfather this morning. And, uh, you know, you've got a young man there who's heartbroken and, uh, you know, and still wants to go and fight. And uh, so I'm so proud of them. And, and now, Bo, uh, proud of him, obviously. I've said every time somebody would uh, ask me about it that uh, the quarterback in, in this league in particularly uh, gets way too much of the criticism when things don't go quite your way. And, and uh, people have bad days at work. You know, I have them. Uh, Bo had a few, but I've also said that there, there's no way we would be sitting here with 15 wins in, in two years and two bowl victories had, had Bo not been with us. So, um, and I just knew from watching him prepare that. Uh, the, the way we ended the season didn't set well with him, uh, nor did it me, and we didn't have to really talk about it a whole lot, but I uh, like the way he prepared, and I'm proud that uh, that he was able to have the game he had today. Coach, you talk about the impact the running back on throughout the game? Yeah, I thought he was really, really solid, and uh, was really close to breaking a couple long runs on some inside zones, and uh, uh, but, uh, you know, he protects the football, he runs physical, and he's got, a, he's got good speed, so I'm really excited about the future with him. Coach, you talked about uh, it was a pretty interesting day, kicking game-wise for yeah. you guys. Well, it hadn't just been today, you know. Um, and I love Andrew Ritter is another team captain. And that uh, boy's had some big kicks in his career for us. And, uh, you know, again, that's a kid that I approached last year about red-shirting as a senior. And that doesn't happen often. And what a great attitude he did it with. He and Tyler Campbell. And, uh, so that we would have them in year two, and um, it was a big field goal he made. Uh, but I don't know. The last uh, three weeks, he's gotten in, uh, the, in, a, in a, a mode, kind of like my golf swing. When, when I don't when I get the hooks low and left, and, and he's just he's, he's hit, hitting it really low, he's hitting it on the middle of the ball, and you know you don't like to talk to it a whole lot. But that's uh, he just kicked a lot of low kicks, and it really kickers. Uh, when they, when they don't feel confident about it, it's, uh, it's a hard job to do. And, uh, but, uh, man, uh, what a big kick he had against LSU that gave us a victory, and he's been very excellent. He's kicked off all year, and that was a big field goal he made today. Coach, can you talk about today scoring 10 points in a minute and a half and swiping the momentum there, and then you guys coming back from that? You don't expect that from uh, Georgia Tech, uh, 10 points in that fast, but uh, they did. And, Again, that's to their credit, to Coach uh, Johnson's credit. Their, their kids fought, and they get good players. And you watch them and look at the, the numbers they put up against the good football teams. I didn't expect them to go away. And um, real proud of our guys uh, taking momentum back. And then what a big play defensively that was down there deep in the red zone to get a safety. I thought it was a touchdown. I didn't, I didn't think they, they had the possession of it ever. Um, I didn't, I didn't get a great look at it. That's just what it appeared to look like. Um, but uh, we're, we're happy with the safety, which put us up eight points. So that was, that was a big momentum swing back our way. What were some of the specific things defensively that you guys had to adjust to once the game started that made you guys so effective and stuff? Well, uh, the, the, thing, the only thing that really hurt us on, you know, I mean, obviously they had some good plays and they threw it deep. But the one play that gave us problems early on was that uh, tall sweep with the motion. Uh, they were out leveraging us, and we were getting. Uh, we actually had a, a, a good contained guy, but we were getting cut off from the pursuit, pursuit from the inside, and uh, we just had to. We started setting our front a little different when when they gave us some stuff to, you know, putting a wide three to a side that maybe give us. And then they hurt us on on the uh, on the beer there with the fullback because of that. So they, they got a good plan, and they've got answers. You got to be multiple and and not do the same thing over and over again, and they'll make you pay. Hugh Robert and Cody didn't start. Could you talk about that? Uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm a stickler for team rules, and if you're uh, five minutes late to, for curfew or if you, uh, you know, uh, miss a class, um, you know, that, that's, that's the two issues we had there. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to be consistent with that. And um, as I don't love, I assure you, because I want what's best for them. But uh, that's... 
That's it. Was Denzel involved in that also? That sure was. Was it only those three? Uh, I think so. I believe so. Take one more question for Coach Bo, Coach Freeze. Bo, Matt Cavius, and all the poll win. Music City in this area has been pretty good for you, hasn't it? Yeah, we need to get up here and recruit some players. So maybe, maybe, maybe some saw that today and want to come join us at Ole Miss. I know there's good players in this area. and. Uh, uh, we love that we love the area. I coached in Tennessee for 13 years, so uh, I feel like it's kind of a second home to me, also. So, um, anytime we can uh, be in this area, we'll, we'll enjoy it. Thank you, coach. Thank you.